What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video today. We got a video that you guys have been requesting a lot now. We got the Cicada 3301, an internet mystery. I have no clue what this is about, so it's going to be really interesting. Hopefully, I don't get lost with this one. You guys have been recommending this channel, Lamino, a lot. So, yeah, let's jump straight to this one, man. I'm looking forward to it. Just let me know. On the 4th of January, 2012, a user on 4chan posted this image to the site's infamous B or random board. The anonymous author, who went by the four-digit pseudonym 3301, challenged users to uncover a message hidden right. within the image. Unbeknownst to those who stumbled across it, someone had just set in motion one of the most elaborate scavenger hunts the internet has ever seen. Why have I never heard of this? Is this like big, big, big? Within Wait, minutes of the bit. image being posted, someone discovered that by opening the file using a text editor, an appended string of readable text could be found. The string contained a cipher that, once deciphered, formed a link to yet another image. What the At fuck? At first, this appeared to be a dead end, but using an application known as OutGuess, users were able to extract hidden information embedded within the first image. The extracted information led to a subreddit, which in turn contained information about the book. The book, along with a code, could then be used to uncover a phone oh, number. Oh man! Oh man! This, is, this bro, this is like I, I'm stopping at this point. What the fuck is going on here, bro? Listen, imagine you're the person that created this little mystery, and nobody even bothered to look. <laughs> like imagine if I decide, you know what? I want to create another version of the uh, Cicada um, mystery, right? I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna spend like a year doing it. It's gonna be massive, and I upload it, and nobody, nobody looks it. You know what I mean? Like what? Hold played this pre-recorded message. Oh, that's weird. Very good. You have done well. There are three prime numbers associated with the original final dot JPEG image. Three three zero one is one of them. You will have to find the other two. Multiply all three of these numbers together and add a dot com on the end to find the next step. Oh, Good that's luck. weird. Goodbye. That's creepy, bro. I'd be low-key scared. By the following day, the initial image had been reposted all over the internet. Yeah, I can't lie. I don't, I don't know where I was. Wait, what year was this? 2014? A growing community of armchair detectives sought to unravel this elaborate puzzle, but no one was quite sure what to make of it. What was the puzzle for? Who was behind it? What happens when you reach the end? Some naturally dismissed it as an elaborate joke, while others perceived its complexity as evidence against it being the work of a mere troll. Before long, rumors began to circulate that this could be the work of some secret society or intelligence agency, with Bruh. intent of recruiting individuals proficient in cryptography, oh my God. and other related fields. Makes sense! Of course, it was nothing but a rumor. The two oh, missing cheers. numbers <laughs> mentioned in the recording proved to be the dimensions of the original image. After multiplying the width and height with 3301 and using the product as a web address, users were taken to a website. Wow. The website consisted of a countdown as well as an image of a cicada. When the countdown reached zero, the page was up. Oh, it's not cicada, it's cicada. Cicada, free freeze. Okay, okay. Dated with a list of coordinates. The coordinates pointed to locations around the globe, 14 locations in five different countries. It was now up to participants living near the specified coordinates to rise from their comfortable armchairs and venture outside. What? Those who believed Cicada to be the work of an organization now felt their beliefs had been justified. In their opinion, only some international collective possessed the means and resources to create a scavenger hunt of this magnitude. No, 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 no. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit, right? Listen, listen, listen. I know people from Australia. I know people from Norway. I know people from um, fucking China. I know people from fucking, you know, globally, right? Being a Twitch streamer, I know a lot of people from a, a lot of different areas. If I wanted to, I could get them to go... Boy, well, it'd be hard to get them to go outside because we're all gamers. But I could get them to go outside and do a little scavenger hunt. And to to the outside world, it would seem like a massive project. But they they, they, they could just, they, you know what I mean? Then again, back then, 
it's a bit more, a little bit weirder. You know what I mean? Because like um, people around the globe wasn't that connected. Gaming's really made people around the globe connected a lot more. But uh, yeah, like. Dude. This was not the work of your average troll. No, this had to be something else. At each it's location definitely a lot was of a effort. poster with a cicada symbol and a QR code. And the bike shelter over here. See, I got a better right there. Oh. You can see the corner is a crazy cicada. Bro, why if some random guy just did that? What if some random guy just did that? Like you're walking down the street, you're just like, oh, what is that, bro? That's a QR code. Boop, boop. Wait, QR code? This can't be 2014. Wait, hold on. We're at 3 minute 42. Hold on, I I'm dying to know. On 4chan posted this on the 4th of January, 2012. Are you- 2012? We already had fucking QR codes? Oh my god, time's flown. Time's actually flown. What the fuck? Where was we? of your average troll no this had to be something else at each location was a poster Bro, what with the a cicada fuck? symbol and a qr code 2012 we had qr codes here. See, oh my god code. i thought that was more recent <laughs> i thought that was like at least like eight years or something the codes linked to an i mean image. like at most the eight years contained a riddle the riddle led to a book and the book led to a website but here, the puzzle took an unexpected turn. Only a select group of first arrivals to this website were accepted into the final stage of the puzzle. The site eventually closed down with a message. We oh my god, this is Squid Games. This is how they recruit for Squid Games for the movie. What the fuck? And the movie's all real. Yo, imagine. That'd be crazy. Yo, imagine. Like, it came out and Squid Games, it's all real. What? <laughs> like, oh my god, that's a fucking mystery in itself the best not the followers right the finalists were also warned not to collaborate with others nor to share the details of this private stage of the puzzle well uh, given that we know this it's safe to say that not everyone heeded that warning <laughs> but those who did presumably advanced through the final stages bro this is scary the man end of the puzzle this is scary after nearly a month of silence, an image appeared on the subreddit announcing the conclusion of the puzzle, and just like that, the hunt was over. What? The conclusion of the puzzle. So a month of silence that is, hello, we have found the individuals we saw. Uh, thus, a uh, month long journey ends. For now, thank you for the dedication and effort. If you were un unable to complete the task or did not receive an email, do not despair. There will be more opportunities like this one. Thank you all. 330. What the fuck? And just like that, the hunt was over. Cicada had supposedly found the highly intelligent individuals they were looking for, and whatever happened to them is a bit of a mystery, but more on that in a moment. The complete lack of an explanation was perceived by many as confirmation that the puzzle had been nothing but a wild goose chase intent on wasting everyone's time. Yeah. After all, questions raised by the original image remained unanswered. What was the puzzle for? Who was behind it? What happens when you reach the end? However, as it later turned out, this was only the beginning. What the fuck? I just feel like it's some big Whoever goose was chase. Behind uh. This intricate game had the foresight to include an authentication code known as a PGP signature along with every clue. This allowed users to verify that an image or message was actually from Cicada, as opposed to some imposter seeking to derail or hijack the puzzle. Cicada had repeatedly warned of such false paths and insisted that any message lacking a valid PGP signature should promptly be disregarded. That's why this image, posted exactly a year and a day after the first, provoked such a frenzy. After a year of lackluster imitations, this image finally matched the official PGP signature. Cicada was back, and it was time for round two. The second puzzle was not too dissimilar from the first. The image enclosed a message, the message led to a book, the book produced a link, and gradually the puzzle unfolded. At one point, a recording titled The Instar Emergence was uncovered.
I reckon it's just some recruitment process. Because like, you do have to be pretty smart to do this, like, Another to get to the end. Another to a cryptic Twitter account, which then led to an image. It's a lot of problems, The image solving. proved vital to the progression of the puzzle, but the inclusion of this runic alphabet would remain a mystery for quite some time. Much like the first puzzle, the second swelled into the physical world when a list of coordinates compelled participants to once again take to the streets in search of enigmatic posters. This time it was eight locations in four different countries. But eventually the trail went cold once again. Another select group of first arrivals had been accepted into a final private stage of the puzzle. Unlike the first puzzle, the second did not conclude with an official message from Cicada. The trail merely went cold and Cicada vanished once more, leaving us no closer to an explanation. What the fuck? However, this was still not the end. What the fuck? At the beginning of 2014, it was time for round three. Once again, the image enclosed a message, the message led to a book, the book produced a link, and suffice it to say, it was more of the same. Except this time, the puzzle seemed to revolve around a strange book. The book was titled Liber Primus, meaning first book in Latin, and was evidently written by Cicada. The runic alphabet what? uncovered in 2013 finally made sense as the book was primarily written in runes. E even so, the meaning of the translated pages were cryptic at best. The book consisted of various philosophical and ideological ideas and appeared to be their manifesto. Many have since compared the strange writings to that of a cult. Nevertheless, the book also comprised a myriad of clues and codes. For example, this page advised participants to seek out a website on the deep web, but the site remains undiscovered. Bro, imagine like you do all this and then like <laughs> at the end you get contacted, like you've done all this effort, you think you're going to get recruited to like some massive secret organization. And like you just get like recruited to some like very independent low budget website fucking development team and they're like oh we want we want to hire you for like 15 grand a year man you pass the test and you're like well man, I, I get paid more on my current job what the fuck imagine just the biggest waste of time ever another page led to a website containing yet another some library wants to recruit you. interconnectedness Oh, beautiful. It's not a waste of time. We get this banger of a song. However, a significant portion of the book has yet to be translated. The runic text on some of the pages appear to be obfuscated by layers of encryption that has yet to be decrypted. Of the 74 pages featuring runes, only 19 have been successfully translated. What the fuck? As 2015 came and went without the launch of a new puzzle, many came to suspect the Liber Primus had to be completed if Cicada was to return. This was more or less confirmed at the beginning of 2016 when Cicada encouraged a re-examination of the book. More than four years have now gone by with minimal progress and near complete silence from Cicada. Questions raised by the original image have gone ignored. <laughs> What is the purpose of these puzzles? Who's behind them? What happens when you reach the end? Oh, I, I just had chills. I just had fucking chills, man. It's, that just gave me chills, bro. What the fuck? When the initial image appeared on 4chan back in 2012, many assumed Cicada 3301 to be an alternate reality game designed by a corporation to promote a new service or product. For example, Microsoft developed an elaborate ARG back in 2001 to promote the film Artificial Intelligence, and a similar viral marketing campaign was used to promote the release of Halo 2. But the release of subsequent puzzles and the complete lack of commercialization has more or less eliminated that possibility. If we choose to believe some of the leaked information from the private end stage of each puzzle, then we do gain some insight into who this group might be. 
For example, at the end of the first puzzle, finalists supposedly received this email. In it, Cicada described themselves as an international group who believe that privacy is an inalienable right. The aim of each puzzle is to recruit like-minded individuals in an effort to develop privacy-conscious solutions. The email then concludes with three questions. The PGP signature, which would have confirmed the authenticity of the email, was conveniently removed by the leaker. If a version with a valid signature does exist online, I was unable to find it. But regardless of its legitimacy, I find this question a bit odd. It reads, do you believe that information should be free? Yeah, Assuming what the, the fuck? expected answer is yes, then the very first sentence, do not share this information, seems a bit hypocritical. While the idea of a secret society recruiting individuals by means of elaborate cryptographic puzzles may seem a bit absurd or even conspiratorial, it's not entirely unfounded. Corporations and governments alike have employed similar recruitment techniques since at least the Second World War. In 2013, the British intelligence agency GCHQ launched a recruitment program known as Can You Find It? Participants had to decrypt a number of cryptograms hidden across the internet and those who managed to solve the entire puzzle were offered a price or a position at the agency. Motherfucker! Motherfucker! I've been trying to get a job! Wrong the whole entire time! But what the fuck? I'm looking on Indeed, right? These guys are going on government websites and trying to solve mysteries, bro. Bro, I'm doing that. What the fuck? Google <laughs> did something similar with enigmatic billboards back in 2004, and the US Navy launched a near identical project in 2014. Okay, but then what about the recruits? You know what? I wouldn't want to be recruited, but low key. I would actually be pretty good at this because I'm really good at problem solving. So I feel like I feel like if I ever see one of these pop up, I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> I don't know how I would even find it. Then again, I'm not really good problem solving if I don't even know how to find it. Right. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We move. We pass. Why have we not <laughs> heard from these chosen few? <laughs> Well, we have. It's just that separating a legitimate finalist from an imposter is virtually impossible. In a 2015 interview with Rolling Stone, two alleged winners of the first puzzle chronicled the events beyond the final stage. After receiving an email from Cicada, they were taken to a forum on the dark web. Here they could communicate with 20-some-odd sure. recruits as well as a handful of established members of Cicada. They were told that Cicada 3301 had been founded by a group of friends who shared common ideals about security, privacy, and censorship. The goal was to work as a collective to develop software applications in line with that ideology. As friends recruited friends, this secret society quickly expanded into a decentralized international organization. The recruits were then tasked with developing software that fit the ideology of the group, and members of Cicada would oversee their progress. But without the allure of a puzzle to be solved, the recruits quickly lost interest. By the end of 2012, all but one had left, and a few months later, the site was gone. They never heard from Cicada again. One of the two winners, named Marcus Wanner, later elaborated further in a video by YouTuber Nox Populi. Furthermore, Nox Populi himself claims to be a winner of the second puzzle, so I reached out to him and this is some of what he had to say. After completing the final stages of the second puzzle, Nox Populi received an invitation to join Cicada 3301. However, he was not invited to a website but was instead merely told to be patient. Then, around May of 2013, all communication with Cicada abruptly ceased. This was what around the, the same fuck? time as when the website dedicated to the winners of the first puzzle was suddenly taken down. Nox Populi later contacted other winners of the second puzzle to compare notes, and their experiences were identical. In his own words, All the stories were the same. We were invited to join 3301, then something happened, and silence followed a request for patience. Nox Populi supposed that roughly five others completed the second puzzle, in contrast to the 20 odd winners of the first. In regards to who or what Cicada is, Nox Populi believes they could be a remnant of the cypherpunk movement of the late 80s and 90s. Essentially, a small group of activists advocating widespread use of strong cryptography and privacy enhancing technologies. 
but he admits that there is no way to know for certain. If you want a far more comprehensive walkthrough of these puzzles as opposed to my brief overview, Nox Populi has produced a number of videos on his channel which I highly recommend. Yo, While to be fair, that sounds believable be on his part. They do make for a very compelling argument as to what Cicada is. A group of anonymous developers seeking to develop privacy-conscious applications by recruiting talented individuals via cryptographic puzzles. Sure, it is not nearly as exciting as a shadow government seeking world domination or any of the more fantastical theories, but it is certainly more plausible. You have to keep in mind that no part of these puzzles would have required more than one person. The posters are often pointed to as evidence that this must be the work of some international organization, but I beg to differ. I mean, right now, I could use any number of services to hire random persons around the globe exactly. to install posters for me. Exactly. Although, given that no poster was located more than an hour away from an airport leads me to believe that one or multiple persons actually traveled to these locations. Bro, I mean, some of the oh posters my were found god, in what the distance of an international airport. What the fuck? The fact is that anyone with a disposable income and enough time on their hands would be able to create the illusion of a vast secret no fucking way bro if hey listen if one person did all of that good shit man good shit network spanning the globe not saying that that is the case with cicada 331 but it is nonetheless a possibility that cannot be discounted with all of that being said I personally think a loose-knit group of privacy-minded hobby cryptographers to be the most plausible explanation. Yeah. I, 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 I think that's right. Cicada made last public statement in April of 2017, merely warning against this information. But the current status of the third puzzle and the possibility of a fourth remains clouded. In that's history. a dope ass logo as well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Really, really, really good video. Glad you guys recommended this video to me to watch. Enjoyed that one. Hopefully you guys did as well. Let me know what you guys think to uh, Cicada in the comment section below. What do you think it is? I think it's a little group uh, doing a recruitment process. Even though it's not as cool as you wanted it to be, it's still pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.